Hey guys, today I want to show show you how to model a beer bottle or just like any kind of bottle. So, um, what you want to do first? X, delete that. Uh, space bar and add a circle. Now we want to fill in fill in the circle and let's just give it 16 vertices. I don't think we need that many. All right, so now let's tab into edit mode. All right, that looks good. Um, let's just right click on the middle vertice, hit G and Z. I don't know if you noticed, but beer bottles have a slight indentation. Just, uh. Alright, um, now what we want to do is just raise it up. I know we won't be able to see the bottom of the bottle, but let's just, uh, put in that for an effect. Alright, so now I just hit B for your box select and box select all these vertices. Shift right click on that middle vertice. Now what we're going to do is we're going to hit E and S to extrude out in the scale. And hit G and Z. So we can raise that and that will be like our little tip. Now let's extrude up. Hit E and Z. And this will be our, our beer can. And so now what we want to do is we want to, whatever well, tie you want to make it, I don't know the exact, um, Scaling, so it might it might not look very well, but you can figure that out with the beer with having like a bottle as a reference. But uh, what we want to do is I think it should be thinner than this, so I'm just gonna tab out and I'm just gonna scale it on the y axis. Well, tab out, hit S, Shift Z. That way you can scale it in on the x and the y axis, leaving it a perfect circle, just like that. Alright, let's tab back in. Alright, so now what I want to do is I want to hit E, S. So we can extrude and scale it in. Hit G, Z. So we can scale it up. And this will be the base of our top. Alright, so now let's hit E, Z again. Leaving uh, how big the hole it's supposed to be. And let's hit G, Z again. So we can extrude that up as well. Alright, so now it's beginning to take shape. So now what we want to do is we want to hit, scroll out, hit E and Z. And this will be our neck. And hit S for scale. So we can taper that in. I don't know if you've ever seen a beer bottle, but they taper in. Or any bottle. Any bottle. Alright. Awesome. Alright, so now what we're going to do is we are going to make the ridges, the screw ridges. So the way I do it, well, you'll see. You'll, you'll see. Hit E, Z, E, S, so you can extrude it and scale it out just a little bit. That's going to be our lip. Here, let me try it a different way. Oops, shift. Alright. Let's hit E S point one. Whoops. E S negative point one. Huh. Alright, let's just do like I'll E S scale it out a little bit. Alright, now we want to hit E S and scale it back in that same amount. Now we're going to hit G and Z. Just lift it up. And that's going to be the beginning of our uh, screw cap, as you can call it. Um, so now what we're going to do is we are going to do the same thing. ES, scale it out the same amount, or else it will look very bad. <laughs> ES again, scale it in the same amount. G and G and C. Just like that. So make however many you want. I'm going to pause it and resume it because it will take a while. Alright. So um, so it should look about just like this. It just depends on how big you want the top to be. I mean mine. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 layers up. Alright. So now what we're going to do is we are going to subdivide it so it doesn't look so choppy. Let's tab out and see how it looks. 
Yeah, it looks really choppy. And the neck looks too short for the bottle. So, I'm going to see if I can fix that. I'm going to boxlight all these upper vertices. I'm going to hit Z and boxlight so I can hit the ones on that side too. It's hit Z again to get out of wireframe mode. And I'm going to grab it along the Z axis. Alright, see how that looks uh, better. I'm going to just scale it in a little bit again. And alright. So now what I'm going to do is I want to uh, get a modifier, subsurf modifier. And let's do that twice. Alright, so now you can see it looks, it doesn't look like a bottle at all. So what I'm going to use that loop cuts. Loop cuts help really well with this. They are very useful. They will become your friend. <laughs> so I just hit Control R, loop cut, and just drag it down. And that gives it a very fine, defined shape, just like that. Uh, we can use another loop cut down here. Let's see. I stayed above the other one, but oh well. So hit Control R and let's do that up and Control R going down. So now let's tab out and that looks better. And so that's how you make a basic. Um, let's smooth it out. Bottle. Uh, you can depending on what kind of bottle you're making, it would look different. So uh, it just depends. So if you have any questions, please comment below. If you have any tips. Also comment below. Thanks for watching.